Okay, so I have a bunch of videos showcasing how to do the light bulb test on the uh, 7400, 7500, 2000, 5000. But I got a K4900 here that keeps shorting the voltage regulator. So to eliminate the high voltage side from the B plus side, I'm going to show you how to do the light bulb test for a K4900. Now I've never seen anybody document this. I've never seen anybody make a video of this. So I kind of reverse engineered this based off what I could tell and figured out how to do this on my own. The, if you notice here, there is a white line that separates the high voltage side here from the, the output to the B plus side. So the only thing that connects this side of the board to this side of the board is a little jumper right here. If we look closely, you can see that there is a jumper here from this point to this point. So all I did was just lift that out of circuit. You can see here that it's lifted out of circuit right there. And that eliminates the output from the power supply side to the rest of the chassis. So with that out of there, we can take our meter and attach it to ground here, which is what this lead is. And you go to the blue side of the B plus resistor. Now, normally on a regular 4900, the B plus resistor is right here. 150 ohm resistor is mounted to the chassis, but this person who owns this, well, who owns this, this is for a fix for somebody. They have put a K7000 uh, resistor here on the frame, which is okay. It's 20 ohms higher than the, the standard one, which shouldn't cause a problem, but this thing keeps blowing out the voltage regulator. So what you do is you'll take your negative lead, attach it to the screw here for ground, and your positive lead is on this red lead here going to the blue wire off the B plus resistor. That's the regulated output side. And we'll turn the meter on here to volts DC. And then we'll turn this on. You can test this on a bench without a, without a tube. It doesn't matter. You're not going to have any output to the flyback or anything. So if we turn this on, you'll see the B plus jump to 170 volts. There you go. 173, give or take. Now this is just a 20 watt LED light bulb. If we touch the ground, the negative, to the frame and touch our, let's get this better, better light there. Touch the center, the light bulb lights up and we drop to 137 or so. It's not that big of a load on the circuit by having a 20 watt light bulb. But you can see there, 137, if I let go of it, back to 174. Ground, positive, 130. So we have a functional high voltage side. Not high voltage, high voltage is this side, I'm sorry. We have a functional power supply circuit. The power supply side, the regulator, everything on this side of the circuit is good, or we'd be blowing the fuse, shorting the regulator, any of that stuff. So this is all fine. The reason the regulator is shorting is something on this side. And that'll be obviously in a different video. I may link it below. But this is just to show how to do the, the light bulb test on the K4900. You've got a, a fuse that's shorting, or a regulator that's, a fuse that's opening, I should say, a fuse that's opening or a regulator that's shorting, or some type of power problem. Uh, you can isolate the power supply side from the output high, out, uh, high voltage B plus output side, if you will, by lifting that um, jumper out of there and doing the procedure I just showed. So that's really how you do this. I wanted to make a quick video here on showing how to do the light bulb test for 4900, because I don't think, uh, from what I could tell, no one has done that before. So there you go, that's how to do it. That's how to tell if you've got a power supply problem or a output part of the chassis problem off the B plus here. Uh, if you're blowing the fuse or shorting the HOT, not HOT, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. This thing has been kicking my butt. If you're blowing the fuse or shorting the voltage regulator, you can isolate the power supply side versus the output side to see if the problem is in the power supply side or the output side uh, by doing this test. If you do this test and the light bulb doesn't light up, or as soon as you eliminate the B plus from the circuit and you blow the fuse still or blow the voltage regulator, uh, then you've got a problem in the power supply side. So this will help you eliminate whether it's an output side or a power supply side. So that's how you do this. So hopefully it helps you out. Uh, we all learn as we go. So thanks for watching. And you know uh, I'll probably link below the solution to this because this thing has eaten. Uh, this thing has eaten four voltage regulators so far and I've gotten my last one so I figured out before I try and turn it on one last time and blow a fifth one I wanted to see if I could figure out how to test the power supply side so that's how you do it 
so I want, I, now that I know my power supply side is okay, I can eliminate, start working on things on this side. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more repair videos.